Hi everybody, Broken Eves here. Welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I've taken £15 worth of PC off of eBay, which is a Core 2 Duo E8400 at 3.2 GHz, 4 GB of DDR3 RAM, and a little tiny 128 GB SSD. Onto that, I've lobbed, lobbed Peppermint OS, uh, the GNOME Flashback Edition, uh, installed all the software that I wanted via flat packs and decided to have a go at making a retro gaming box. So I installed Lutris and bought down my beloved old favourite, which is the original Guild Wars. So let's see if we can run it under Lutris. And more importantly, let's see if we can make a 60 frames a second video with it how about that okay so let's create a new character role playing yes please and we'll go for factions uh hmm. what do we go night for let's go night for and run backwards i guess we'll make a dervish because that was one of the characters in um, nightfall and um, we'll make a gorgeous one she is gorgeous already we'll give her silver hair of course make her a bit lighter skinned the old character creation screen you probably can't hear the game audio um, that's the only downside of simple screen recorder in that it will only run a single channel of audio not sure what hair I want to give her not sure it really matters to be honest okay so that'll do nicely we want her to be tiny we want her to be red and we'll call her what she is <clears throat> and we'll call her Lady Pep I'm guessing we will get it. I'm guessing I'd have to have the game sound up so loud through the TV speakers that hmm, it would blow my head off. Ilona, land of the golden sun. Right, we'll skip the intro cutscene. And here we are in Guild Wars. Wow. Let's press H and select a title. She is, of course, charmed. I need to speak with you, Lady Pep. Uh, let's open the inventory. Let's hide her hood. And let's hide her cape. Not necessarily in the right order, but anyway. Um, if this all works, then on 15 quid's worth of PC, uh, what more can you ask for? Uh, rally the recruits tutorial or take the shortcut and skip the tutorial don't forget this game was from 2004 uh, as you wish spear marshal um, so we've took the rally the recruits we need to equip her with a weapon and there we go a starter scythe pops right out there let's equip her starter scythe there we go uh, okay, so now we have to follow come here and rally the recruits and show them what a awesome warrior we really are. Of course we're not. Um, but the beauty of this game is you get companions and you don't just get one, you get a shit ton of them. <laughs> mm. And they pretty much do all the killing for you. Um, and... It's one of those games that's just amazing. It really is. I could do with putting that text up top left. Oh, there it is. Uh, I don't know if we can move it and resize it without going into options. I'm guessing we can't. So, once you've listened to a uh, chab, so the Dervish is a scythe wielding in effect warrior uh, melee character 
runs in, dobs them all, gives them all hell. Uh, so, and she gets access to the Dervish line of skills as her primary. And then she can choose any secondary skills that you you want that floats your boat. And you basically go through the whole game. Of course, she's going to have to backrun in factions and backrun in prophecies to complete those chapters. Um, but at least starting out in Nightfall, she gets access to a mercenary heroes very very early on and she'll basically just ruffle stomp everything and by ruffle stomp i mean ruffle stomp <clears throat> so let's follow come here uh, this will be a good test to see not only how the game runs but more importantly how it records uh, very much a tab game and then space to go and auto attack and of course pick up your dollar I hear you holler uh, once she gets access to her dervish skills she becomes uh, more interesting at the minute all she can do is auto attack and they're giving her double gold I don't know why but uh, we'll take it I don't remember her getting double gold but anyway stand with me recruits let Lady Pep do the heavy lifting let her get a little chubby ass kicked You'll stand there while she gets a dush in. And there we go. This post is deserted. Where have our men gone? We must assume the worst costs. I have another lesson to teach you recruits. Lady Pep recruits, follow me to the resurrection shrine. If you die in this game, you will be resurrected with a death penalty. Uh, the Resurrection Shrine. Go on then, come here. you got more chops than the local butchers. So there you go, I've died. That's the power of Cormier. And I will be resurrected at the Resurrection Shrine with a death penalty. There you go. So I've now got a minus 15% death penalty. Thanks, come here. That's really freaking kind. Um... But I have to say, how awesome is this? 15 quid's worth of PC, YouTube content creation right there. Right there. What more could you want? Of course, if you've got a more powerful PC, then you can run something like uh, OBS Studio, uh, which is way too much for this PC to handle. And then you can record both game sound and your narration. Uh, but I think you'd have to agree for 15 quid. You can't go wrong. Rocking the beautiful Peppermint OS. No flashback edition with Guild Wars 2 running via Lutris. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so uh, I don't think there's anything else um, to be saying. Peppermint OS on a 15 quid. PC, I don't think. Uh, oh, mm, system monitor, you can see it for yourself. Dual core, uh, we've got four gigabytes of RAM, which in 2024 is shocking, it's e waste, but nevertheless, um, it will do the job for you if you ask it. I don't think this has Neo Fetch installed, I'm sure it doesn't. Although we can probably install it. Oh, it does, kind of. So there you go. That's our computer. Um, an in -core, Intel Core 2 Duo E8400. Uh, an ATI Raiden RX 460 at 2 gigabytes. And 4 gigs of RAM. 
And that's all you need to make YouTube content in 2024 if your game is retro. There you go, everybody. If you can think of another use other than going to e-waste for this PC, please do let me know. But I am absolutely delighted with the PC. It's running super fast. I had to put it on bare metal. Um, because although I did have a look in one of my live streams at Peppermint OS, it was in a virtual box, and you can't really get a feel for it. But nevertheless, here it is on bare metal, running live, absolutely flawless installation, comes with virtually nothing, and you just install what you want on the PC. The beauty of that is, is that it's very sleek, very slim, and does exactly what you want it to do. It's not full of stuff that you've either got to uninstall or you don't know how to install. However, I don't recognize, recommend at all this known flashback version for new users over to Linux. Go for the Peppermint, standard Peppermint or the Peppermint fully loaded if you don't want to install software yourself. But for me personally, this is the one I'd go for and of course, GNOME Flashback is a super lightweight dex desktop. Not for everybody, but I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another Wicked Broken Ebs video.